The only people I make my hustle stuff for are the people that are talking shit. That they want fucking things to happen and they want to win and they want to buy, I'm going to buy the Clippers when you buy the Jets. Dude, you work four fucking hours. You ain't buying shit. My question for you is, what could cause the extinction of the real estate agent as we know it? You keep making t-shirts and I'll keep buying them. Oh, and one more thing. Ting! (laughs) (laughs) Do we include you saying ting? Yeah, I want to keep the ting. No, Let's keep the ticket. <laughs> the, the bar has been raised <laughs> for video questions. Vayner Nation, take note, the bar has been raised. Amazing question. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, great production. D-Rock, you love it, right? That was good. That was good. That's Stefan. Awesome. Yeah, that was good stuff. Um, I actually don't think that there is a lot, you know, I think there is a false sentiment in the market that technology eliminates humans. I think technology sets up the humans that understand how to use that technology to leverage ahead against the other humans that don't. So, you know, what eliminates the the real estate agents of the moment in the future? Well, it's their lack of innovation and adjusting to the tools that are at their hands and then just becoming a dying breed. My friends, I, I'm not making up or talking about anything new. Innovation has forever the phone, the, the yellow pages, radio, television, the internet, direct mail, video game marketing. Like, like every time there's been another innovation and that will happen forever, it kills off the prior animal unless the animal is unable to uh, adjust. And, and it's not an age thing. There's tons of 60 year olds right now that are crushing modern day marketing. The percentage is very small. And it comes out of getting fat. Right? It comes out of, you just made enough money at this point, you're on to new and better things, and I mean that. You guys hear a lot of hustle from me, but I, I'm enormously happy for the gal that's 63, making 240 a year, and you know, put in her dues, and she wants to go to the fancy food show on that Tuesday instead of calling 100 people and selling another apartment. Or she wants to spend an extra weekend in an Aspen timeshare. Like, do your thing. Like, when I talk about hustle, please know that I'm not judging you. It's all predicated on what you want. The only people I make my hustle stuff for other people that are talking shit, that they want fucking things to happen and they want to win and they want to buy, I'm going to buy the Clippers when you buy the Jets. Dude, you work four fucking hours. You ain't buying shit. And so that's where I get pissed off. But if you've decided consciously that you want to have a great work-life balance and things of that nature, then that's great. And those are the people that get disrupted. They've lost the hunger for a better thing. I'm not looking down at them. Congrats. Let me give you a real freaking secret here on the Ask Gary Vee Show episode 60. If tomorrow I read that there was a new drug in the market, FDA approved, and I could take it, and it would take, amb- this is gonna fuck with a lot of your heads, and it could take ambition out of my body, I would do it. I'm, my gift is my curse. You know, it, you know I, I love what I do, but I promise you, and this, so many of you are about to be disappointed with me, but I'm talking truth here. I would take the pill that would get me down to 10% less ambition and hunger because I'd have a little bit more balance and there's a lot of attractive things that come along with that balance. But that's not the way it is. And honestly, I'm super pumped the way I have it. So, and weirdly as I said that out loud, I kind of don't want to take the pill. But, (laughs) you get the gist, right? And so, (laughs) so who gets disrupted? Fat cats.